Welcome back, guys, to yet another uh, review. I'm back in my regular studio, also known as my room, with my desk also being my bed directly in front of me. Today, guys, I have a pretty epic review for you that I think y'all are probably going to really, really enjoy. So as you're probably aware, I reviewed Thor, the first Thor movie, a really, really long time ago. And usually I don't wait this long to do another review, but today I'm going to be reviewing Thor, the Dark World, the second Thor movie. It's a pretty good movie. I, I enjoyed it. My overall rating for the movie is 7 out of 10. It's an average Marvel movie. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was good. It was it was good. I liked it. The recommended age for seeing this movie would be 13 simply for violence purposes, uh, violence and language. Language is a little bit rougher than some other Marvel movies in this. The language is 3 out of 10. They cuss I'd say a total of a, maybe like a dozen times throughout the film they say uh, the H word, the B word, the D word, that no uses of the F word, that hasn't been in a Marvel movie, I don't think ever, uh, maybe in game, but I also believe that the language, they may have used the Lord's name a couple times, and obviously they're gods, so they refer to themselves as gods. The violence was 5 out of 10, so it was a little bit up there for violence. Uh, people get stabbed, people get their throat slit, uh, monsters get their throat slit. People do too, a little bit. Uh, some giant things run over people, some things cut some people in half. Uh, not on screen, they don't get cut in half, but you do see a monster on screen uh, basically get cut in half, so that's a little bit gross. And then the adult content was 4 out of 10. There's a lot more uh, middle school boy jokes, I would, uh, to put it, that way without getting demonetized. I would reference it to that. And the only other thing I'd like to talk about is that the Asgardian death ritual, we see it performed. Uh, they lay the body on a raft adorned with flowers and gold or whatever, and then they send it off into the river, and then they shoot it, and they set it on fire, and it goes off a waterfall. Why they do that, I'm not really sure. It's Asgardian tradition. That's all we are given. And yeah, that is... That is all for this movie review. I really enjoyed it. I kind of hope that y'all enjoyed it too. And if you haven't watched Thor The Dark World yet, I would definitely recommend going and watching Thor The Dark World before you watch Ragnarok. I watched Ragnarok and then Thor The Dark World, and it didn't make quite as much sense. So anyways, guys, that is all from me. Thank y'all for watching. And until the next time, I will talk to y'all later. And... I have a new outro, which is very n nice. I, I hear the music playing in the background right now. That's kind of weird. Alright, goodbye.